our spy a spying has spotted an enemy system nearby. We should take a look at it on our galaxy screen. So there's their enemy system. What's up to Wegeth? How are you? Yeah, it was on sale. I'm not sure if it still is. But it really is good, uh, Clyde, Clyde Nicole. I can never say your name right, man. Um, I mean, the the scope of it in the main game is looking really good, too. Uh, the fact that you can create basically an infinite size system, just depending on how your hardware is. Um, make, the sys make the galaxy as large as you want. Add as many stars. I mean, you know, thousand stars is pretty easy for your hardware to render, which is decent. Um, but I mean, it, it doesn't actually put in a limit. You can type anything you want. So if you wanted to make five billion stars, you you could. Um, okay. The Terran Empire is a great empire and has tremendous influence in the Galactic Senate. This is good for us as we can spend the influence to annex the Ying Mao system diplomatically. So activate annex system. This one's really cool. So we apparently already had this annex card. We activate it. And we say we want to activate an this system. Ying Mao. Now this actually brings up something in the Senate where we vote. Certain diplomatic actions require you to pass votes in the Galactic Senate in order for them to take effect. Annexing a system is one of these votes. All votes have a current support level, indicating the sum of their support reduced by their opposition. Most of the time, a vote will start at plus one support. Empires can pay influence to play support cards into a vote, increasing or reducing the support level uh, or adding various special effects. While an influence vote or proposition has a positive support level, its green bar will fill up and the remaining time to pass if the proposition is shown. So there's a green bar, it's filling up, we're at plus one. Um, when the support level is negative, any progress on the green bar is first removed, then the red bar fills up. When the remaining time to fail hits zero seconds, the vote will be rejected. Influence votes are a diplomatic tug of war that any empire in the Galactic Senate can influence the result of. One thing to note, I thought I could wait till the last second and then like change the vote. No. Uh, they, like If it's negative and it's the timer's going, that's time till the bar fills up. If you pass it over, then all of a sudden you've got to wait for to remove that negative and go all the way green so you're starting a whole new timer over so don't 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 do what I did and wait it's pronounced clinical well then I feel stupid <laughs> I think I should be able to get that from now on um, and uh, looks like it's 14.99 is that is that still partially on sale I think that's still a sale price that's not the sale price I got. I think I bought the four pack for thirty bucks or something. Um, uh, yeah, forty percent off still. No, that's that's good. I think I might have gotten it 50, but no, I think it was even more. Yeah, because uh, yeah, if I bought the four pack for 30, 30 or 34 or something like that, so yeah, no, 14 bucks is good. Uh, they just changed. Let's see, we've got new deals. Oh, Medieval Engineers is on sale. That's cool. Um, I, I guess it was five dollars. Uh, it's now it's 11.99. Uh, Arkham Origins was on for five dollars too. How about that? Mm. Yeah, I've had that for a little bit. I still have not played it at all. I've had it for months. Yeah. I played the other ones and I really like them, so I figure I'll yeah. try this one too. I well, I heard bad things about Origins. It's supposed to be the worst in the series. 
So I kind of stopped and I didn't do anything. I mean, I bought it at a really good price, so that's why I was like, yeah, let's do it. I enjoyed them both. I played uh, Arkham Asylum to completion. I did not finish... Uh, City. Yeah, Arkham City. It felt City like good. it felt like it was just the same thing again, and like they didn't. Yeah, you know, it wasn't what I was like, hoping for. Then Arkham Origins, one of the, I guess I just got some bad reviews, and I was like, uh, you know, I think I'll just wait. And then I waited so long, it's like, eh. yeah. But I should probably play. Well, now I don't have enough time to play it before the next one comes out. It comes out Tuesday, and I'm probably not going to get that right away. I'm going to wait for the sale. Yeah, yeah. I was a little worried about the reviews in this one too, and I figure at five dollars, you know, that's that's a decent price for it. I know yeah. I'll at least enjoy it. Yeah. Um, oh, while well, I was talking, uh, my my vote passed, and I can now annex. Um, so yay! We didn't get to read that because we were supposed to read that while we were waiting for the thing. By convincing the Galactic Senate, the Ying Mao system now belongs to you. You successfully annexed it. The colonized planets in the system are now yours. Unfortunately, sources within the Terran Empire have informed us of a large Zuzio military movement towards the Ying Mao system. We should prepare our defenses and repel them. Hey, Blaze. Uh, what up, Blaze? How are you? Doing all right. Got my cucumber lime water. Just uh -huh. ate. <laughs> and I'm signed up for school, so that's a thing. All right. What are you going for? Mechanical engineering. Okay. So, yeah, okay, double click, uh. Space wood. And. Okay, so we can build orbital stations, build a defense platform, and they want us to put it in Ying Mao. Last time I actually built one and put it in the wrong place and I had to wait some time because I had no monies. Uh, so now we've got that. Uh, Spacewood locals have informed us that they've set up a means of creating defense ships to protect themselves. Defense can be used to produce free support ships over time all around your empire. To So that's actually your defense right here. Um, so we can get 11 per minute to determine which systems Determine which systems or planets receive defense ships. You need to mark them to use defense. So I can set the entire system to use defense, and they'll start producing. Now, I, you know, I the way that they do this in this tutorial, it made me think that you had to have this orbital platform to use defense. They're not these defense sh defensive ships are not being generated by the defense platform. This is just an additional defensive structure. Um, but the planets I own are now going to start pumping out units. Okay, so there's a heavy guard, uh, heavy gunship that got spit out. And so there's one over there. So each one of these planets is going to start getting them. Apparently, I guess we got all the planets that they had, but not all planets, because this Neutronium one we could colonize. Um, I haven't been colonizing these other ones, but I'm not going to worry too heavily about it. We're just going to try and get through the rest of this tutorial. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring... over there that's should be group one and then group two before we get too much into that we're also going to notice that we have this autofill option and an auto buy option that allows me to fill my support capacity up out of like their defensive ships. So if I'm in a system that has defense going on, I can basically start siphoning all their units into my fleet. Well, that can be good and bad. By doing that, I'm getting free units to start. Yeah, but you're but exposing I, your planet. 
Well, you're exposing your play, but you know what? Defense rebuilds fast. So that's not exactly a big deal to me. The big deal to me is that then you have to start paying for those units. Ah. You have upkeep on those units. And I believe... Now, I'm not entirely certain. We'll have to actually have to try um, turning on defense and really paying a close attention to my budget here and say, all right, well, we've got... This is how much we're spending on ships. How much is that increasing? So right now we're spending 342 on ships. I'm not buying more, but we are uh, getting more ships around each uh, around these planets as we go. Uh, in fact, actually, they did just... <laughs> I have just stolen all of their units uh, from from the planet to fill my ranks on uh, my first fleet. So it all, it instantly just filled that up real quick. Now it looks like it's uh, starting in on Fleet 2. So, yeah, it's doing that. Um, currently, ships is still 342. Let's see what happens on the next one. Off Topic Monkey, hey, what's up? Good to see you again. Um, let's go ahead and let that go for a while and see what happens when this totally fills up. As we can see, now units are flying in from ev from all these planets. It's a lot easier to see once they're We're on the high speed here. So that's taking me to support capacity. Still 342. Interesting. And now my planetary def now that those are both full, planetary defense is starting to repopulate around the actual planets. And each planet has their own support capacity. So we got 150, 150, 150, and 150. If we upgraded any of these, then they would shoot up there. We haven't done anything with asteroids, but those also have some things that we can do. Um, or will be used for um, I think it helps with labor but it's it's hard to tell exactly and bless you babe um, so yeah but I don't I, with an army or with a fleet like this um, I think we're okay oh. let's put that on regular speed because that just went super fast um. Human left your chamber. I mean, the lasers are cool, but I like see you know I like actually seeing the uh, I guess those are the rail guns, and then you can see the missiles from w firing from a distance, and then once we get in closer, lasers start turning on, and then the ion cannon or not ion cannon rail rail guns. But the screen looks really busy with all those laser blasts. It's cool, but I don't know. I think it's it's really intense. Kind of uh, hard to tell what's going on. Yeah, once you once you have those laser blasts going on, it's like uh, you know, at first I just thought it was like the trail. It was like this is who I'm attacking, but no, those are actually those are laser blasts actually going on, and they're consistent. You know, that it's not just a pew pew pew. It's a it's a beam, solid beam. It's cool. I like that. Yeah, and so, you know, your railgun is what is the blue light fly firing that looks kind of like your traditional, you know, blaster fire. Uh, and then, you know, the orange 
uh, trails that are going slower, but they start off sooner. 